Hey there. So I just wanted to put together this quick video to show you uh, the best way to set up UTM parameters in Google Ads so that um, you know, it works with Attributor and, and is sending through the correct data and also just so that it's really easy to implement and manage. Now we have this article on our uh, help site here which is called Recommended UTM Parameters and it basically just walks you through the, recommend the, param the UTM parameters that we would recommend you use. This is based on uh, the combination of what works with Attributor to send through the correct data, but also just sort of what is just, I guess, considered industry best practice in terms of how to structure them, what, you know, what to put in each of the different sort of five different UTM parameters, etc. And then, you know, down the bottom here, sort of, you've got some examples that show sort of, you know, okay, if you were to use these UTM parameters, then this is what would sort of come through in, in Attributor and so on and so forth. So worth a look at to um, sort of understand what you're going to put in each of the different UTM parameters. However, you know, you don't have to use these. These are just recommended ones. As long as your the UTM parameters match the rules that you uh, that are sort of outlined in this uh, art help article on how Attributor categorizes visits, as long as they match these rules, then you're still going to be getting, you know, Attributor is still going to consider somebody coming from your Google Ads to be paid search. Um, and then it's going to pass through, you know, all the, the different information. So that's a bit of an overview of sort of like, I guess, what to put in your UTM parameters. In terms of how to set them up, um, there's a number of different ways you can do it. But the way that I prefer, because I think it's just sort of the easiest, the, both the easiest way to set up and, you know, kind of guarantees the best data is to use what's known as a tracking template. So if you come into your Google Ads account and you go into, and you, you don't have any particular campaigns selected, you can go open up the settings section and you can go to account settings. And then within account settings, uh, there is this uh, one called tracking, you, um, and you can click on that. And we can see here that there is this thing called tracking template. Now, what this essentially does um, is basically it's saying, okay, apply for every ad, because you're setting it at the campaign level, uh, sorry, at the account level, for every, it's basically saying for every campaign, for every ad group, for every ad within your um, within your account, apply this tracking template. Now the tracking template is saying landing page URL, so whatever the URL that you specify behind the ad is, plus, oh, not plus, but then, you know, it's then basically saying, okay, then put, append this to the end of every landing page URL. And so this is basically UTM medium equals page search and UTM source equals Google because those are the things from here we're saying, okay, this is paid search and then the source is Google. And then once we get into this, we're starting to go UTM campaign, UTM sort of term and UTM content you can see here. And now we're starting to use uh, different types of variables. So these are called custom, uh, custom parameters um, and they're, they're symbolized by the, um, the, the whatever this underscore at the beginning and you can create whatever you want here. So as you can see here, I've set up underscore campaign and underscore ad group. And I'll show you how to use those in a minute, uh, in a little bit. And then at the end here, I've gone uh, UT, this, this keyword thing. Now this keyword thing here is called a value track parameter. And so what it essentially does is, um, it will, it's basically a thing that Google ads can, will use, and it will essentially replace um, you know that that little parameter with the actual uh, with the actual keyword. So we can see here for the search keyword, this will, this will basically be replaced with the keyword from your account that matches the search query. So essentially, what we're saying here is that um, you know for UTM content, replace this little uh, this little variable here with whatever keyword actually that you have in your account that actually triggered the ad to show. So then with regards to these campaign and ad group, these things called custom parameters, as I mentioned before, these are things you can set yourself. So what I like to do is basically say, okay, I'm gonna have this one underscore campaign and this one underscore ad group. And then when you go into each of your campaigns, so let's just pick this one for instance, you and you go, if you go to settings, and you go to additional settings here, you'll use you and your tracking options, you can set your custom parameters here. So we can see here I've set the underscore campaign and then and then I've set this this, this to be, you know, this uh, this Latam Egypto here. Um, 
And so what's ultimately going to happen is that any clicks on any ads within this campaign is basically going to write that value into my value into my uh, UTM tracking template. And so you can kind of get a bit of an idea here. So we set, set the tracking template at the top level and then we can basically put, you know, campaign and ad group as our custom parameters. And then for each campaign and for each ad group, we can set the, um, basically we can set what gets filled into there. And ultimately when someone clicks on an ad in within, you know, this campaign, they're gonna, that tracking template's gonna sort of pull together and it's gonna show us, you know, UTM medium equals paid search, UTM source equals Google, UTM campaign, will, will this will get written into there. UTM term will have the ad group written into there and then UTM content will use the value track thing to have the keyword written into, into there as well. Hopefully that makes, uh, hopefully that makes sense. Um, if there's any questions, feel free to, uh, to reach out to our support team. Cheers.